Hey, Colt again, Spit and Tax Upholstery. This is uh, part two of uh, Gunnels. This is the front of the boat, okay? Driver, passenger, you walk through the little window, and this is an old bay liner, and this is right underneath where you sit. So anyway, you saw what we did there. That's the finished product. This is the one tore down. I showed you how to disassemble it. When you do so, you get your steamer, you get it going, you come back through, you lay it on there and watch. See how that just puckered up? Look how fat that is. You just walk through and you bring her back to life. Just because the foam's collapsed doesn't mean it's bad. Now, if it's rotten and you touch it and it dusts off, get rid of it. You gotta, you gotta, you know. And then the customer, of course, has to pay for that. And then you, it would behoove you to tell them that if I tear this apart and your foam turns to dust, you're going to have to pay for that. There'll be an additional cost. Because no one likes a bid where they're like, all right, I'll do it for $1,550. And then you come back and go, well, I had to replace uh, quite a bit of foam and now it's $1,850. Okay, little things like that. You gotta look ahead. You gotta know the material you're working with. Right? Cool. Top and bottom. Steam top and bottom. See how that just came alive? And then it, and then you gotta wiggle your hose sometimes to get the condensation to go down to where you get that good steam coming out of there, okay? That one's done. So this one here too. You start on the top. Come around your perimeters. Push it down, hold it down, let it up. Push it down, hold it down, let it up. Look at that, just walked right back to life. And you stagger it across the top. Flip it over, do the same thing to the other side. You don't gotta sit there and beat it up. Just keep moving. Keep moving like the mosquitoes in here. Them damn mosquitoes. Those things are aliens. They are after us. After that sweet meat. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't weird. Okay, so. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, just push it and drag it. You don't got to get down, get get crazy. Just get it to swell. Get it to swell, you're good to go. Because you're going to put a new... Uh, and after this, we're going to glue, glue this on top of scrim. Just because this is... A, uh, you're loving them up when you're doing what I'm doing. Anybody else would just put this stuff right over the top. I mean, most... Yeah, most everybody. Just because it's just like, oh, the foam's fine. You don't need to do that. Just keep, you don't need to add scram. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're costing me money working for somebody else. No, man, just, that foam's fine. Well, that scram, man, it just, it just gives it a, just a Michelin man look, you know, it just, just pops it. And it gives it resiliency, rigidity, that just straight foam doesn't give. I can feel it. I mean, I can literally feel the difference. So I use it. You know, it's expensive, but it ain't so expensive that, you know, you can't give your customer something really nice. Like I said in previous videos, do it like you're doing it for grandma. You know what I mean? I don't know, I love my grandma while she was around. Mary Jane Fallon. Boy, she was something else. She was something else. That's my, that's my Harley's name is Mary Jane. There's Mary Jane over there. She's waiting for a ride, but I work so much. I just start her up and turn her, start her up, let her run for 15 minutes while I'm mowing the lawn and turn her off. I don't get a ride much. But, you know. Lord provides. He'll give me a day to ride pretty soon. 
never forgets me. Especially if I start whining. And he's like, oh, God. Colt, would you please give it a rest? But he gets to me. Look at that. See that? I was going to do that wrong. Front, back, front, back. See? Ain't nobody. There's number three. Bam. Number two. Bam. Look at that. Just like I knew what I was doing. I'm telling you. Look at that. Boom, boom. Okay, one, two, three, four. Bam, bam. Okay, so that's steaming. Okay. How much time we got? You've been going about six minutes. Six minutes. Okay. So we're steamed up real good. Everything's lined up real good. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. You can see this piece came up short. What do you do? You take it apart, it has shrunk up. That piece of foam has failed. I'm just gonna add a piece of foam. Don't freak out. Don't overthink it. It's just foam. Just get it, get it fat to where you want it. I don't know, that's like maybe 10 inches, 10 and a half inches. Cut another little piece. I got it. That's why I always keep a, a little bin up in the attic or something. I keep all my phone up in, in, in the attic of my shop. And uh, let's go cut another piece. Bam. Keep pushing. Um, but when you put, when you put in, you glue two pieces of foam together, glue each end, of course. And, uh, when you go to glue them down, don't glue where the two pieces meet, just glue on either side to where you won't get a divot and a, a depression. Little trick, something you should think about. I know, you know, but, uh, and then the scrim will go over the top of that and then you'll never see it, but you don't want that little divot. Those are tricks that, that I mean, that, that, that could show. So anyway, what we're doing now is, if you'll notice here, um, this piece here is three pieces. You can't see the third piece, okay? This is the third piece. Whenever you're butting up against a color, use the same color, okay? This is the same color. We're butting this blue, this is the blue, this is the red, and this is the piping that goes in the middle, okay? Well, you only see the blue and the piping. But I assure you, this exact same piece is sewn in there. It folds under. Okay, it butts up to the foam, and it gives you a gauge to where you can get that dimple. See how that dives down in like that? That's what this provides without distorting this. Okay, it's a three-piece harmony, and you'll see how I sew it together. And you'll, you'll just go, why do you need that much? But you'll see in the end, I, when we trim a lot off, but it's always to have more than you need than to have less than you need, you know? So, yeah. <laughs> you, can always, you can always cut it off, but you can't add it, okay, when you're in the, in the thick of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew this together. We have our length. We're good, we're good. And you wanna go a little bit long, okay? So we have our length. Are we good? Yeah, we're about there. Make sure I get my right pieces here. I cut a few different ones. So I'm just checking to see what I got here. I think that's the one. It's either that one. There we go. I had marked it with an O. So we're going to sew it together. Bam. All right, we're good. We're good, we're good. So, and then always double check.
yeah, we're good. That's it. Sweet. Okay, so let's start off with piping. So we have 58 and a half. Turn off your steamer, don't let it run unless you don't have, you know, you don't have to. Okay. Always keep your snips next to you. So what we have, machines on, we're set at four. We have a Tech 90 black. Um, I like to come down to like three and three quarters. I like a six. You'll want to do a practice run. I always encourage people to do a practice run. So what we'll do is we'll take a piece of scrap. That's good enough. We'll take our scissors. All we're doing is just a smaller version of this. So cut off a piece. Always do a practice run. You, this is, you know, you're doing very important things here. So, you have your vinyl, you have this set. Okay, this is, this is uh, um, the depth of your foot on this particular uh, uh, machine. The uh, GC1541S Thor. It's a great machine. It's uh, uh, another version of, of the Juki 1541S. But the Juki doesn't have this, this because that lifts your foot up. You can sew. It's crazy. This is this is a rock star machine. So anyway, good side, okay. Piping towards towards your left. See this. So, you got that half inch sew allowance. That that applies always. This is just a practice piece. Knee foot. Knee foot. Bam bam. Okay. Bring it up. Plant your knee. Set set your needle. Forward, back tack, oops. And make sure there's no obstructions. That was a rookie move. Okay, let the machine do the work for you. Use your, your index finger to push in and that foot will ride the edge of that piping. So I'm gonna see what it looks like. Back tack. I prefer the manual. I do not like the automatic because it'll make you lazy and it'll make you absent. You have to be present when you're sewing always. It's, I mean, they're nice to have, you know, but uh, so anyway, look, I like my stitch count. That'll work maybe a little less. You can see that old hint of that old purple right there. That's one of my favorite is five and three quarters on the floor. Yeah, I'll show you what that looks like. See that? It's just a little bit, little bit. Yeah. Good, good. Well, what did we choose? Five and a half. Different thicknesses. You'll run into that a lot. The machines, they, they're, you know, they're their own animal. But I like that. That's what we're gonna go with. That's our stitch count. So, it looks good, it feels good. I like it. And all right, we've got plenty of, of thread on top. Make sure there's no obstructions. See how that comes up, goes straight across, okay. Come underneath and check your bobbin. We have almost an empty bobbin. I got enough, but uh, I don't know if I wanna start with that. So I'll grab one, this is the same stuff. Tech 90, black, jet. Slap it back in. Set your needle, pull up your knee foot, wiggle your wheel, bring it out, boom, boom. Pull it, you can feel it's good. Bring it up, cut it off at about 10 inches. 
always leave it behind you. And that's a manual. It's a manual. So we have checked our foot height, okay? We've checked our stitch count. Da, 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 how many stitches you have per inch. Like I said, this is the height according to thickness of material. And uh, so we're, uh, it won't exceed what we need here. But if I had foam involved, this probably would be closer to a five and a quarter than a three and three quarters. Because foam changes the dynamics of a stitch count. Uh, moving on, we have 58 and a half. What we got over here? We got one more. So I always make them long. Okay. So I'm going to come on this instance here. This is way long. I just was in a hurry, just making it happen. So I'll hang over, and then I'll come over here like this. I'm, I can, I can actually. I've been doing it long enough to where. I'll come over and I know what a half inch is. Set my needle, look underneath. Forward, back tack, look, gauge, plant. Look. Don't let your stuff get distorted as you're sewing. Keep it, keep it bunched up in your lap, something like this, and make sure that you look. Lift, 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 look, lift, look, lift, look, lift, look. Follow? Okay. Half inch. You know where you're at. Don't let this get distorted. Lift, look. About five inches, lift, look. About five inches, lift, look. Make sure it's flat in front of you. Lift, look. Lift, look. Lift, look. Lift, look. See, everything's flat. And then once it gets, you can let it, lay, let it hang flat in your, between your legs. Lift, look, you know, four or five inches, whatever, even three, whatever's, whatever's comfortable with you. Lift, look, you see it's way, this is, this is like, you know, that's almost three quarters of an inch. So that's why I'm lift, look, lift, look, cause see how it's hanging over the edge, way fat. We want to keep it a half inch. You know the margins. You know the rules. Upholstery rules. The unspoken rule is what? Half inch sew allowance. It applies to everything, everywhere. Don't change it. Don't deviate. Period. All right, cool. So then we come through. Pull and tug. Always on the end of your sew. Even after a lock stitch. Pull and tug. You know. It's all manual. A lot of people are like, God, that guy's a long way around the bar and he's got these old archaic machines. No, they're brand new. It's just their manual. They don't go tick, tick, tick and click and your stuff's ready to go. You just got to sew and then it goes tick, 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 click, you know, and it's just everything's right there. That has their advantages when you're doing piecemeal and you're doing, you know, you're making bags and, and, and you're just, yeah, I can, it's awesome. But when you're doing this, this kind of stuff, old school, you know, meat and potatoes, apple pie and Chevrolet, praise the Lord every day. Manual. So, always leave about three inches over the end. Can't go wrong. Do it, don't change it. All right. Um, so we're good there. So now, we have this. So, I made these. All right, so what we're gonna do here, we're gonna come over here. 
I had to put an ad addition on this one, which is fine. So again, we got that. If you look underneath, you see how that hangs over. See that I was I was like, you know, looking so, looking so, looking so. That's what that is. So you can go back so you don't have any weird gathering if you have to do this because this will happen. You'll use what you got and you'll, you just want it done because you're sewing welt cord and you've got other things to do. So you want this done and it doesn't matter if it's fat because you can adjust later. And that's all this is. So go back and trim that off. You see that half inch sew allowance? Remember I told you it was almost three quarters? Yeah. And just trim it off. If you're working for yourself, you ain't no time frame. Doesn't have to be perfect, unless you want it to be. Cool, cool. Bam! Okay, so, this one here. And now, if you have a, if you have an adage, always remember, an adage is you want to lengthen a piece. And that's what I'm doing on this. Splay it out. You see how I splay this out? Splay it out. Plant your needle back tack. Bring it to your half inch. Use your index finger. And then gently lift your foot. Walk over that adage. Lay it down forward. And then back tack over an adage. Always. See that? Look, so, look, so, look, so. And you can use your fingers to push up next to that foot. And then let your gathering, your salvage, be between your legs like this. So. Want to keep this taut. But not so much that it distorts. Damn. See the main jelly bean? Okay, so that's that. I'm wrapping this up right now because I can smell my ribs cooking on that green mountain barbecue grill. <laughs> okay, so that's that. You see what I mean? That tucks down in there, that folds over and staples underneath, and it looks just like that. And all this, this pulls tight. So I'm Colt from Spit and Tax Upholstery. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, let's make some stuff. I'll see you around like a donut. <laughs>